I've recently been playing this really nice mod for Fallout New Vegas called Robco Certified. It allows you to create an army of robots and cyborgs. It wouldn't be hard to call these cyborgs undead because what happens is, is you either take brains from a corpse and put them inside a robot, or you operate on a corpse to reanimate it using cybernetics. So this can certainly be considered necromancy. The mod adds new perks to the game, which allows the player to create these robots. Firstly, you've got the Robco Certified perks, which allow you to repair and upgrade robots like Mr. Handys, Securitrons, Protectrons, and other kinds of robots like that. These robots are very versatile, especially with the upgrades you can build and apply to them, which change how they fight and what abilities they have. Secondly, you've got the Crazed Inventor perks, which allow you to create junk bots from junk you'll find in the wasteland by whacking it with your wrench. This only works if you have the right ingredients in your inventory. For example, you can find a coffee machine and whack it to make a coffee bot, which will roll around and shoot coffee at the enemy. These robots are kind of nuts, but they have a lot of both combat and utility value, as well as fun value. Lastly, you've got the Mad Scientist perks, which allow you to create cyborgs. You can harvest brains from corpses, and use them to create hover brains, which are small hovering brain cases, or turn corpses into lobotomites, which are a bit like robot zombies. Unlike the robots from the other two disciplines, these cyborgs need to be equipped with weaponry to be able to fight. This makes them very versatile, and also makes them great for hauling all your junk around. You start out with a limit of 6 minions, and can invest perk points to raise this to 12. All the weaker robots take one point, but advanced minions will take more points. For example, hover brains will take one point, a lobotomite will take two, a mecha lobotomite will take three points, and a cyberclaw will take four. I've been really enjoying this mod, and I've played a character up to level 24, and I've been taking all of the Robco certified perks to try out all the different kinds of robots. In the end though, I found myself making almost exclusive use of the cyborgs from the Mad Scientist set of perks. If you play this mod, I recommend you stick to one style of robot, because the minion limit kind of interferes with being able to have a lot of different robots out at once. I'll talk about the Mad Scientist cyborgs first, because these are the ones I've made most extensive use of. The tier 1 cyborgs are the Hover Brain and the Scuttle Brain. Both occupy one robot limit point and have about 160 points of carrying capacity. The Hover Brain is a ranged combatant and will fire any pistol or small weapon you provide it with. It can fire traditional gunpowder pistols as well as plasma and laser pistols. It can also use submachine guns and sawn off shotguns. The Hover Brain is honestly a fantastic minion because it's as powerful as whatever weapon you provide it with, and it doesn't require ammo. So if you give it a plasma pistol, it'll just fire and fire until either the weapon breaks or it goes unconscious. A swarm of hover brains is a force to be reckoned with, and they can carry a lot of junk for you too. To make a hover brain, you need robot spare parts, which can be purchased or crafted from scrap metal, scrap electronics, and a sensor module. You'll also need some human brains, which are obtained by using a Robco brain saw on a dead human. You'll get this saw as soon as you take the Robco Mad Scientist perk. The Scuttle Brain is a robot scorpion with a brain case, and it can be equipped with a one-handed melee weapon. It's not a bad minion, but I've found it just can't compare to its brother, the Hoverbot. Usually whatever it attempts to reach and attack has already been shot down by the Hoverbots. So this guy tends to take the back seat. He can be effective to divert fire away from the fragile hoverbots though. Moving on to tier 2, we get the lobotomites, cyber roaches, and cyber dogs. Lobotomites are crafted from human corpses and require more robot spare parts and occupy two robot limit points. They're spooky looking cyborg scientist fellas and they keep the biological sex of the corpse you make them from. They have a carrying capacity of 250, and they can sometimes equip the helmets you provide them with, but they will always keep their brown overalls. Their fundamental flaw is their limitation of only being able to use melee weapons. That said, they are very good in close quarters combat, 
especially if you give them quality weaponry like super sledges. If you give them grenades and javelins, they can use these as well. I haven't tried cyber dogs, but cyber roaches are pretty cool. I haven't used them extensively, but I'll come back to them later. At tier 3, you'll get access to the Mecha Lobotomite, which is the most powerful of the Mad Scientist cyborgs, in my opinion. I like Lobotomites, but they're a lot harder to kill, and they're also able to use any weapon you give them. Once you have these, you can safely retire your hover brains and get a bunch of these guys instead. They occupy 3 robot limit points, so they're a tad expensive points wise, but they're well worth it. You can even give them advanced weaponries like the Fat Boy and watch them blow stuff up with ease. They tend to use dangerous weaponry like that responsibly, at least when they're out on open terrain, but they often get blown up a lot in hilly country, so I decided to take such weaponry away from them. They perform well enough with assault rifles anyway, although it can be a lot of fun to watch them blowing up death claws of nukes. One thing to keep in mind with these mech lobotomites is that you can make them from any kind of corpse, any kind of humanoid corpse that is, male or female, but they always appear to be male. But if you make them from a female corpse, then they'll keep the female set of animations for running, shooting, walking, stuff like that. It looks kind of stupid if you make one of these from a female corpse, but it's kind of like a man that's walking around like a woman. For that reason, I was pretty selective in only making these mecha lobotomites from male corpses. You'll also get access to a cyber claw, which is a cyborg death claw. These are expensive to make and occupy four robot limit points. They're pretty strong, but they've got a few serious flaws. Firstly, they're very large, and so they're only really useful on the open field. In installations and buildings, they're far too obstructive. Although they're good in melee, you're better off with mecha lobotomites, because they're also good in melee, and they have the added benefit of being able to use ranged weaponry. Plus, they're just a lot easier on the points. You'll also get the ability to spawn in cyber riches for free. Due to the summon limit, I haven't found much use for this, to be honest. But for tough fights, you can tell your standard followers to wait to free up the minion limit and then spawn a bunch of these in and go to battle. They'll soak up fire and do quite well for themselves. You'll also get the ability to make military cyber dogs, which are a better version of normal cyber dogs. I haven't tried either of these minions. The mod also provides you with an ability to command your minions as a group. This means you can tell them all to wait, all to follow, as well as some other neat things too. You can change their formation to be more dispersed, which is useful if you know enemies are throwing grenades or launching missiles. You can also make them temporarily vanish if they're being annoying and blocking you in tight spaces. I could go on to talk about the robots from the other perks in this mod, but that would triple the video in length. So I'll give the crazed inventors robots a quick mention because they're quite cool, but they're also a bit confusing. I'd like to cover that in this video in case anyone needs help with it. To make any junk bot, you first need the base ingredients. All junk bots require a fission battery and robot spare parts. On top of this, different ingredients are required for each of the different junk bots in the mod. I was driven nearly mad through trial and error trying to figure it out on my own, so I trawled through the mod's comment section and was able to glean some help on how to make the junk bots. Personally, I've only tried the coffee bot and the think tank but both are pretty cool. It would honestly be worth a replay using just the junk bots to see how effective they are. I'm going to do that soon. As for the robots granted by the Robco certified set of perks, I've only tried the Mr. Handy and the Securitron. Both were pretty nice. Just like with the junk bot, I'll have to do another playthrough using just these robots and see how good they are. So all in all, I'd give this mod a 9 out of 10. It's a wonderful mod and it seems to blend so well into the Fallout New Vegas game that you almost wonder if it wasn't always a part of it to begin with. Nothing's perfect though, and I have the following criticisms. The minions only go unconscious instead of dying. Personally, I don't like this. It'd be a lot more challenging and fun if your minions stayed dead once destroyed, perhaps with the option to repair them or to salvage their 
components and rebuild them. That'd be the first tweak I'd make. Also, some of the minions are simply expendable. I don't care much if the cyber roaches I just spawned in die in battle, for example. I'm also not a fan of the minion limit. It's probably for balance, but in a way, the minions kind of regulate themselves, because if you have too many of them, it just becomes annoying anyway. Thanks for watching, and I'm sorry for the long delay between this video and the last one. I've been sick the last couple of weeks and didn't really want to be coughing into the mic. As of all my videos, you'll find a link to the mod in my video description.